some medicine, my lord? I have salves, potions, anything you need. Stop bothering me, urchin. Or you'll feel the back of my hand. You must consider your health, my prince. If a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. His strength comes at too great a cost. The Empire agreed to an armistice with the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. For now, the Dalmex suspect nothing. And as long as I can hold their gaze, war need not be inevitable. But more than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, the sight of him gives them hope. be your loyal servant. Should the Council's brazen maneuvering prompt the Republic to tear up their own treaty and launch a new assault, our soldiers would advance to meet them, cutting across the Central Isles, but not in time to prevent their forces from breaching the southern defenses and storming Twinside. And so the capital would become a battlefield. Thousands of innocents would die. I cannot allow that to happen. There is one small mercy, at least. You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. <laughs> Would that I could avoid doing battle at all. A thousand pardons, your highness. What is it? has been made emperor. What is the meaning of this? My father's orders. What were they? Quickly! Uh, yes, your highness. His radiance requests that your highness maintain position here and... Gah! Yes, my prince. I must go to the palace. I'll ready your steed. What is it now? Forgive the intrusion, your highness. I know you. We stand in the presence of the Phoenix. You wouldn't want to get your fingers burned. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Though I admit, I did not expect such a distinguished guest. How many years has it been since the Remembrance Ceremony? Twenty? I thought you long dead. Do I address a ghost? 
Many have told me that I look like one. But no. I'm alive. Just. Prince Dion of the House Lesage, I have a tale to tell you. Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Kuka is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Good. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. 
Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, OK, then. I'll get me things and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Do you see that, Sid? Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. So this is the Mechas. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the Dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <laughs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. I 
see the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrek. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's Fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh. Turn to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You will trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. Anchor! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. No, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a base-born child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. 
Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear that his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel, and not with tar. <sighs> Fork-tongued witch! In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler. from across the water. Come one, come all, feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... Uh... How much for a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper, not nowadays. But you're more than welcome to look. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a former line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find good, shall we? All right. We have a place on the wagon. Remember, Goots. We're mercenaries. You hide us to protect you. But mercenaries. <laughs> and you remember the plan? You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperials' defenses. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. All right. Let's go. Certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima. I am. 
have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on Sanbrek. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts. And more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmechian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. But I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrek. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Thank you, Your Highness. Hmm. Let us take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We Dragoons have but one leader, Your Highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. And this is my decree. For their crimes against the Crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death and the Empire restored. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. When they're afraid, they turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? The harbor is empty, and half the market stores too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. 
I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then. What's happening? I don't know. Toggle! On fire. I'm sure Goose is fine. He'll be making for the square. The one with the bell tower. In the middle of town, right? Guard, watchman or sentry is to be slain on sight. <sighs> the citizenry. His Highness's orders were clear. People are to come to Those were Imperial Dragoons. Can nothing be done to call them off? I regret not, Your Radiance. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. Madness is this, Theon. Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Don't dally, man! Go! Your Radiance. By the light! Dion! Have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the dragoons at once! Fear not. The populace will come to no harm at their hands. I am here to save you, Father. Save me? A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Sanbrek. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. <laughs> not another word, Dion. Father, though you may not see it, the darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. But I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. 
A puppet now sits upon the throne. But cut his strings, and the master loses the power! What? Dion, you best steal before your emperor! Guards! Take him! For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire, of its rulers, of your god? As the mother crystals crumble one by one, and the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear, our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build. Dion, you must understand. A small price to pay, is it not? You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. He doted on his children. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this? You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end, as I knew you would. And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Kin Slayer. <laughs> Can you see him anywhere?
Over here, Clive! Are you all right? Goats, there you are. I didn't know there'd be a dragon. All right. Let's get out of here. Something's happened. Forgive me, Yoda, but I must put a stop to this. Your Grace! Worth a try. Quiet. There's someone up there. Is someone there? Arthur. It's you. What happened here? 
He tried to take him from me. Oh, my boy. My darling. Darling boy. Is this the child you made with the Emperor? Why, Mother? Why did you betray us all? You have no right! Answer him. We took you in, Savage. Show some respect for those who raised you. <sighs> Honorable Elwyn, always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the Blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty, the noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek, that I might join my line with the Lesages and birth a savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix. You sold your country for a child. Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring, and yet you failed to awaken. Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength? Oh! How the nobles laughed that Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own, not long for this world. The shame of it! The shame of being slandered by one's inferiors! How could you ever know how that feels? It should have been you! Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment was spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield! To help bear the weight! But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Joshua, my darling boy. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? What? Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here! The Phoenix lives on! He's battling Bahamut as we speak! Shield of Rosaria. And I will do my duty. What are
This is drinking the ether. We have to stop him.
the world. My brother, I... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. <laughs> I never dared hope that I would see this day. We're united at last. Jill. It is done. The demon that would tear our house apart is no more. Father. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> 
the Mother Crystal. It's collapsing. Right. We need to leave. No. Wait. I owe him a debt. Fine. Not stay here, mother. Come. Take my hand. Get away from me! This is all just a dream, just a bad dream. You will not take me, Shadow. You will not take me! Mother. that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others. Then we shall set you apart once more. The ties that bind you shall be severed and humanity return to its proper place. Genesis shall a new age of reason begin. Rob, this is incredible. According to the scans, this structure predates the singularity. That is incredible. It's hard to imagine, isn't it? A time when man and machine got along? A time before magic? Queen Vera has made it abundantly clear that the citizens of Neo-America were never her main concern. She has let the scum of society run rampant terrorizing the subjects she is supposed to be protecting. She only holds power because some ancient prophecy put her line there. Today we take back power in our own hands. By the time you're listening to this message, either the Quinn will be dead, or we will. Captain Vermeyer, by the order of Her Majesty, stand down and return the princesses or face the consequences with extreme prejudice. Damn it. I thought I bought us more time. I promise to 
keep you and your sister safe. I want to do more than just survive. Brutal. Maybe you should compete. No, thank you. I like myself whole. So you want to be a big player, huh? <laughs> Virgil likes big stones.